Okay, so my setup is getting complicated and I wanted to attempt a bit of an explanation as to what's going on. So off to the side here I've got my DAW and at the moment I'm using it purely for recording. I'm not doing any post-processing or anything fancy there. So the Chaos Lighter Pro here, um, this is kind of the start of the whole signal chain. So I'm using this at the moment purely as a MIDI controller. There's no audio connections at all. And uh, so this is setting the master clock. It's setting the tempo, which at the moment I'm at 95. And then um, these are these kind of touch faders. Let's fix that. Focus. Okay. So these are uh, these kind of touch faders, and they are sending uh, MIDI CC information to the Minilog. The Minilog XD is playing the uh, VS Vector Synthesis uh, oscillator from Tim Shoebridge. And what that does is it lets you um, choose four different waveforms and uh, choose how they kind of interact and layer. So that's what this is controlling here. So if these are in the middle, then you're hearing a combination of four waveforms there versus if I do like that, that's only two of them. Different two. So basically, this is controlling kind of the output, or this is controlling the, the types of sounds that the Minilog is making. Um, and at the moment, I have the analog VCOs muted, but I, I kind of bring them in later, which is, which is always great. Uh, so then the, the sync signal passes on to the model samples here, and the model samples um, is uh, kind of still the, the heart of all this, I'd say. So I've got tracks one through four are all just doing um, samples, and they're just doing kind of the rhythm parts, the drum and hi-hats and stuff like that. Uh, track five um, has its own sample that I can bring in later, but I also am using it to send MIDI out to the uh, NTS-1 synth engine. Uh, the NTS-1 synth engine also I have turned on uh, the arpeggiator. So this is sending single notes. You can see them here in the sequencer. Um, and uh, that's a 32 step sequence. Um, but each note triggers an arp if the note is long enough. And so in the model samples here I've changed the note length so that certain ones trigger the full arp and certain ones don't. They just play the first note of the arp. So that's fun. And then of course in here I can change the different ways that this thing's making sound uh, based on whatever oscillator that it's running. Um, I'm also using the Cathedral Reverb a lot uh, by Hammond Deggs because I love that one. And then track six here, this is sending out MIDI to the Volca bass, which is way over here. Um, so, and with that one, I'm in the monophonic mode with all three oscillators turned on and I can kind of turn those on and off to thicken and thin the sound. And, um, and the main thing I play on this is just the, the filter cutoff and like playing with the filter peak and stuff like that because that's, in my opinion, the, the strength of the Volca bass. So I'm using the sequencer here basically just to send a longer sequence. Uh, so that's a full 64 step sequence um, because I always find the 16 step sequence a bit limiting on this. So, um, And then I, again, have another sample loaded on track six that I can bring in to kind of add to the sound as another layer if I want to. Um, the the tonic here, the PO32 tonic, is purely playing a kick drum. That's it. And sometimes it might add in that, that uh, clap sound, kind of like it. Um, and that's basically, so my track one here is also a kick drum, but it's kind of a thin kick drum, and so this is when I want to like thicken up that sound. Um, now, the keyboard here is playing its own internal grand piano sound, just the default sound that comes with it, and that's layered with the Volca FM. Uh, which is playing the smooth out patch. And the Volca FM, uh, well, okay, so the Volca FM is, is uh, not really velocity sensitive, but you get this velocity slider here. And the, the Yamaha keyboard here is not also not really velocity sensitive. They have what they call touch response, which is like four layers of velocity. And so basically, if I hit a note pretty softly, you purely hear the Volca FM. If I hit it harder, then you hear the layer of the grand piano sound and the Volca FM. So I get some kind of dynamics there, which is nice. Um, I think that's it. At the moment, I'm bypassing this. Uh, sometimes I use the Monotron to add more kind of grit to the piano sound, but at the moment I want it cleaner, so I'm just not using that. And I'm not using this at the moment either. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's, let's uh, play around with this and see how it sounds. Oh, I will also mention, I guess, on my mixer here, on that kick drum, I've like boosted the, the bass and the mids, but everything else is just flat.